Islamizing here, or uh, or partially uh, Islamizing it, or uh, the concept of okay, the concept of the concept of individualism, concept of equality. Obviously, in Islam, there is a concept of individuality and equality, but that is a totally different concept. But because you have derived your concepts from modern political discourse and then try to understand Islamic perspective on those concepts directly through Quran or Sunnah without contextualizing them in the context of the Islamic disciplines, traditional Islamic discipline, that's why your understanding of the Quran is at least been partially determined by the modern political discourse because that modern political discourse is the dominant discourse. So even if you are not doing it, obviously you are not trying to do that and you are not conscious of it, otherwise you wouldn't have done it because you... As we saw, Malin Odubi is not a modernist. Uh, in principle, he considers Islam as a complete and unique civilization. And if you consider Islam as a complete and unique civilization, then in principle, you are not modern. But practically, you are a modernist in the sense that you are justifying modernism in certain aspects because of your faulty methodology. Um, so his uh, concept of uh, individual, individualism, concept of equality, concept of citizenship, and concept of delegation, and concept of... Uh, I think uh, in behind all these, the if you are... The main main concept which you are actually um, legitimizing, or is the concept of freedom and autonomy. I think that those are your main concepts. And if those are your main concepts, even if you understand those concepts within the limits of Islam, you are going to be a liberal modernist uh, because the core concept of Islam is not freedom or autonomy. So, so that's here uh, the core concept of Islam is actually worship and subjugation of your will, heteronomy, not autonomy. So, so I think it would be let's let's look at it a bit. So. In modernity, whether it's liberal modernity or, and in the context of Malana Madhudi, it's a liberal democracy or liberal modernity because he's, he's impressed by liberal modernity. He's not that, that much impressed by socialism. The core concept is freedom and autonomy. Freedom, autonomy, and uh, autonomy is the specific conception of freedom. I mean, self-determination. So obviously, Malana Madhudi doesn't accept autonomy uh, without limits. That's why he's a Muslim and not a you know, pure liberal. But he does, in, at least in his political discourse, autonomy is the central value and Islam plays the role of limiting autonomy. Limiting autonomy. So autonomy is the, at least practically speaking, autonomy is the core value. And what is limiting that Islam is an instrument in that sense, or the vehicle of, or the formal limitation of that autonomy, or the disciplining of that autonomy. On the other hand, an Islamic revolutionary perspective or Islamic perspective is not autonomy but heteronomy, and specifically the worship and surrender of your will to the will. Of, that's the center. And freedom and autonomy. Can be instrument of insert of this core value, but they can't be core value. So Malam Madhudi has changed the whole uh, configuration here, and all those people who you know Islamic uh, liberals. And Malam Madhudi, uh, not in principle, but practically he is an Islamic liberal. Nobody can deny that. Uh, and a lot of Islamic movements, Muslim Muslimin in Arab world, even worse. Uh, and Islamists like even those who have deep, uh, deeper Islamic learning as well, like Muqtashim Khiti, for example, Iskadabir, Azmat the Suri of Islam, or something like al Azharat Islam. If you read that, that's even worse. Um, so that's, that's the thing. Uh, for Islamic liberal, autonomy is the core, and Islam is just limiting that autonomy. But for a uh, Muslim, traditional Muslim and Islamic revolutionary, autonomy, specifically worship and subjugating your will, also, that's the core, and everything else is the instrument of that. And what guides how much you know when you reject all... So, so um, rejecting, rejecting freedom uh, and autonomy is no problem for us. And equality and freedom and individuality and citizenship, they can be you know, some kind of instrumental value if needed, but they are not the guiding principle or guiding value. But practically, for Muslim, they become the... And for all Islamic liberals, they become the guiding value. And the civilization which emerges is not Islamic civilization. Islamic liberal civilization, where Islam is an instrument of liberalism, a, li a partial limitation of liberalism, and that's allowed by uh, liberal tradition. You know. And as liberal tradition recognizes, uh, you know, short-term uh, limitations are no limitations in the long run, in a sense. And then we'll stop here and we'll continue from here, inshallah.